Good morning, I'm out here in Henry Coe State Park for a little springtime backpacking. I'm hoping, uh, I'm kind of right at the end of spring before it's going to start getting warm here. Uh, still got quite a bit of green grass, green trees, everything like that, so it should be a really, really nice trip um, here. Up on a ridge, uh, similar path to what I took last year. I think this is a good springtime spot before it gets really, really hot in the summer. I'm stopping for some, uh, some lunch. I got a big packet of smoked gouda. That'll be good. I brought some real food this time, so I got a bagel. And this is a peppered salami. I got a whole bunch of this. So I'm gonna make a cheese and salami sandwich. The goal on this particular uh, trip is I got a little bit, some new gear to test out. I'll go over that uh, along the video, a new backpack, new, uh, new shelter setup, stuff like that. So we'll go over that as I do this trip. I wanna try some fishing too. There's a couple of ponds um, that I passed by last time I was here. And people said there's good bass fishing there, so if I got some time, I'm definitely going to do that. And then really just take a chill trip. It's going to be two nights solo. Um, gorgeous weather. It's supposed to be hottest today around the upper 80s, and then the next couple of days, I think the highs are in the low 70s or upper 60s. So uh, hopefully able to capture um, these, this lovely, lovely weather that is here. This is a legit sandwich. Got three big slices of pepper salami on there, the Gouda, the bagel. This is really, really good. Definitely gonna do this again in the future. I'm gonna need to guzzle probably like a gallon of water after this, so a little salty, but man, this is good. It's 4.45, been hiking most of the day. Uh, pretty tired, it got hot today. I mean, upper 80s, low 90s, it was uh, quite toasty. Definitely not used to the heat as it's mainly been in, I don't know, about the 60s is the high most days. So I'm not used to the, used to heat and I got super, super hot. Drink lots of water, but still, uh, yeah, still reeling from it. So hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit, uh, a little bit cooler, but got some water. Right up on top of that little mound there, there's a little tiny lake. Um, we'll call it a big puddle. Got some water going, so I feel pretty good. Here is the first piece of new gear to take a look at. This is the uh, the new hammock. It's been a long time since I've hammocked before. Um, when I first started backpacking and camping many, many years ago, I actually uh, started with a hammock I made myself. And uh, after my most recent trip with Joe up to Canada, I was really, really jealous of him uh, using his hammock and it looked way more comfortable than my little tent and trying to find level ground. And uh, so I was, look at all that sunscreen there. Anyways, I was very jealous of his little hammock setup. So I was like, okay, I got to get me one. So we've got the uh, War Bonnet, um, the War Bonnet XLC, Blackbird XLC. Um, and then I've got the, I think it's called the Mountain Tarp. It's kind of like the medium size one. It's got little, uh, little wings on the side. Um, I don't have the wings deployed. I kind of uh, tuck those up inside and then I just really wanted to, to give it some sun protection so I can lay in there and not have the sun uh, looking straight at me because the sun's like right there and it kind of beams down into your face so anyways a little bit of sun protection got it with porch mode going with the hiking stick so I can look out over this nice little grassy area um, here's the camp got a little fire ring this is all backwards hard to do anyways um, got firing right there uh, probably gonna put my little stove in there to cook and then it's kind of your standard oaky slash grassy area. I'm about halfway up the hill. I did go down to the bottom here, down towards the river, and it is um, very, very buggy. So up here, I'm hoping there'll be less bugs. It'll probably cool down here and be really nice. Won't be too cold down in the valley. It'd be nice here, um, up a little bit higher. But anyway, so here's the hammock. Looking pretty good. I got a under quilt. I actually never had an official well done under quilt. So I'm looking forward to putting that on tonight and then trying out my, um, uh, using my standard top quilt that I always use. So should be a pretty nice setup though. Uh, definitely looking forward to trying it out tonight. Sun setting, there's, uh, <laughs> there's little tiny gnats all over the place. Kind of annoying, but uh, it's supposed to cool down. I just checked the weather forecast on my inReach. 
It's supposed to get down in the mid 50s tonight, so it'll be good sleeping weather. Uh, and then the high tomorrow is 75, not 85 or 86 today. It was, it was hot. At one point, I was just, just pouring sweat. It was really, really, really warm. So, I'm looking forward to get some dinner going. I had some uh, leftover um, mountain houses from when I uh, went uh, up to Canada and hung out with Joe. So for tonight, we got this beef stroganoff. Should be pretty good. I usually like these. I'm not a huge mountain house person, but uh, they're okay. Man. Little bugs, but you can see sun setting down there. Got the backpack on the tree. Hammock's all set up for tonight. I'm gonna eat some food. I'm gonna go chill out in the hammock because the uh, the bugs are not biting or anything, but they're just kind of annoying. They keep going into my ears. Gorgeous night. Wrapped up dinner, ate pretty quick. Mosquitoes were uh, were coming after me. Here's the other new toy for this um, for this trip. It was my Christmas present to myself. I ordered it. Uh, back in December. It's made by a company called Superior Wilderness Designs out of Michigan. It's a husband-wife couple. Uh, makes the packs. Super, super nice pack. Um, this is the Long Haul Rugged 50 um, in the, what is it called? Eco Pack Ultra 400. Uh, that's most of the packs Ultra 400. Kind of a new fabric. Um, it's uh, kind of, I would say, sweeping the ultralight community. Uh, as, as a new go-to fabric. Um, light, strong, very similar to Dy Dyneema fabrics in the past, but uh, made a little bit more environmentally friendly. Um, I think it's even maybe a titch bit less expensive. Um, anyways, it's great fabric. I, I can just tell this is gonna hold up really, really well. And this is the 400, they make a 200, 400, and 800. I think the bottom of this is 800, and the pockets are 200, but uh, very, very uh, durable fabric. I like it so far. Uh, this pack has awesome suspension. Um, it's got two aluminum stays, a floating hip belt, uh, and these really, really nice, big, wide padded shoulder straps with some really good foam. Um, it's got this cool attached hip belt, um, but it kind of attaches up here and here. And it's removable and it's even adjustable. You can raise it up and down a few inches. Um, it's about 50 liters in capacity, and it's got all these really cool little tie-outs right here, like this one's connected in. And you can put straps all over this thing. You could strap snowshoes, a rope, ice axe, pack rafts. It's kind of really a multi-purpose, multi-adventure, kind of do-it-all backpack uh, with a really good frame that's able to carry, carry some legitimate weight. Um, 30 to 50 pounds is, is what the uh, manufacturer says. And I can tell even with my 20 pound load that it's, it's really riding quite well. So um, anyways, great pack. I'll do a full review someday. I've only got 10 miles on it today. But we'll put some more uh, miles on it this summer and maybe towards fall i will do a proper review but those are the two new toys uh for this season we got the hammock and we got the uh long haul rugged 50. here's a quick tour of the hammock i got my catabatic gear 30 degree top quilt been using that forever down there underneath i don't know if you can see it but i've got a 20 degree uh war bonnet 20 degree quilt it's a three-quarter length so it goes down about my knees so i've got this foam pad um, that one, this is a three quarter length, really thin eighth inch foam pad that I use all the time, but I'm gonna put that under my feet and then up here on the shelf, got my headphones and my pillow. And then over here, here's the view, which is pretty awesome. I found that I took the hiking pole and did the porch mode there. You can see, and then to pull this net up and away from my face, which now it's like, I don't know, six, seven inches away from my face. I tied it off to the hiking pole so it really raises it up and out. And I can see super good. I'm going to sit here and chill out for a bit. Good morning. Just woke up. Slept really, really good in the hammock. Uh, Got kind of cool last night, but not super cold. Uh, gonna get some oatmeal going here on the stove and then get packed up, head on the trail. I think about a 15 mile day to get to where I wanna get to. Uh, so it should be a good hike. It's gonna be a little bit cooler today. Thank goodness yesterday was so freaking hot. 75 sounds way better than 86.
Taking a break, having a little bit of lunch, having my second bagel with uh, cheese and really big pepper salami slices. Really good. Done about seven and a half miles, um, and it's about 11 o'clock. I am here at Mississippi Lake. Um, it is the, I think, probably the largest lake in the park. Um, there's a little access spot down here, so I'm going to try to get some more water and a little bit of fishing time in, see if I can get any fish. We'll see. So I'm going to work on finding the best trail back. Uh, I'd like to try to stick to trails more so than the fire roads. The fire roads are okay, but they're not nearly as much uh, fun or usually as pretty as the uh, trails themselves. So I'm going to stick the trails on the way back as much as I can, try to get in seven or eight miles, um, and then set up for tonight. Made it here to the top of Hartman Peak. There's a wilderness zone in the north part of the park called the Absentra or Abstretcha or something like that. Wilderness, and that's where I'm at right now. Pretty deserted out here. There's really not much of a trail. You can like barely see it kind of goes like this, but I'm gonna head down into this valley and then start heading back that way. Whew, it's hot, hot, hot up here. Just came down from Hartman Hill, dropped about a thousand feet. It was pretty much just whoop, straight down, completely exposed, very warm. And now I've got next to this creek, and as you can see, there's no water. Uh, this one joins into another creek about a half mile up here, so I'm really hoping there's water. I'm down to about a, a liter or so, which is plenty, but uh, definitely want to refill it. I'm sweating a lot. It's now getting hot, midday sun's right overhead. It's very, very warm, so got to stay on top of water. I think that's uh, it's number one out here right now. Well, not the best looking water source I've ever found, but it's water, it's cool. It's actually nice and clear and pretty clean right there, but uh, a little bit funky looking. Made to camp, got in about 4.30. Uh, just been relaxing since then. Got the hammock all set up real nice here. Got a little flower field right behind it. Um, and then the sun is starting to set. Got another about two hours of sunlight. Over here, about 100 yards away or so, is the trail and water source, clean water, actual nice, good, clean water. So that's very, um, that's really nice. Um, I am just going to sit back and relax and listen to an audio book here for the next 40 minutes or so and try to have dinner around 6.30. The book I am listening to on this trip is called The Boys and the Boat. Uh, it's about the 19... I think 36 Olympic rowing team from the University of Washington and uh, them competing in the Olympics in Germany. So pretty interesting book, a lot of background so far on uh, World War II and on the depression in America. So it's, it's definitely a good read so far. I'm gonna go listen to that for a bit and then it's gonna be dinner time. Sun's going down, it's been an awesome day. I'm definitely ready for some food now. For tonight's dinner, we've got the awesome Mountain House Fettuccine Alfredo. So that's gonna be pretty good. Then for dessert, let's see if I can find it. I've been doing more of the uh, the bulk bin things at the store. You know, go to the, go to the store, look at the bulk bin, see what you want. I found these things, these are awesome. You can't tell what it is right now. It looks like a amorphous blob, but I'm gonna have one right now. It's uh, chocolate with peanut butter. It's got caramel in it. And you can just like pick up a, a chunk of these at the, um, at the bulk bin at my local grocery store. So I've been, uh, been rocking that. I did cashews bulk bin, trail mix, a couple types of trail mix. So anyways, check out the bulk bin section. I think that's an easy way to just uh, package up a couple of little bags, get it all good to go, and it's inexpensive. Oh good. Waiting on dinner to warm up. Pretty happy with all the uh, the gear this uh, this particular trip. Had the, the new pack. It's been working out great. Super comfortable. Um, pockets are easy to get to. Um, all those lash points are going to be nice as I do more adventures. So liking the new pack definitely. 
I've also really been liking the hammock. Um, it's a great area to just hang out in. Um, a lot of times on these solo trips, um, you know, there's not much to do right now. I don't have a, a place I can go fishing at uh, or swim at. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, in this wooded area here. I've got a decent little water supply, but but no no cool things to do, no boat to paddle around. So it's nice to have a really like a chill area. I guess I I I, <laughs> I had written off the hammock as it was heavier than a back heavier than a lightweight tent. It's not really that much heavier. It's like a pound different depending on what's set up and all kinds of stuff. But it's not a massive difference. Um, but I think for these solo trips where I know it's going to be a lot of light, I'm not going to be hiking all day long, and I want a spot to chill, I really do think that the, that the hammock has its spot. It's a much easier, fun place to chill in. Like, you can't go and, and lay in a bivy bag and be comfortable and hang out for two or three hours. You can easily do that in that hammock. So um, I think for these smaller solo trips for just a couple of days i'm definitely going to bring it um and then it's also fun to, to bring on really lightweight trips or really not lightweight trips uh, just as a hangout spot in addition to a tent so i'm uh i've gone full circle i i started with hammocks um i first started with a terrible army surplus store 30 dollars tent that was the first thing i ever tried camping in tried that like three times got soaking wet it was horrible then I was like, well, maybe I should get off the ground. So I did the hammock thing. I camped in all over the place in the Midwest, Canada, everywhere with a hammock. And then I kind of got out west and I went, man, I sleep pretty good on the ground. Maybe I should try the, the tent thing again. So I tried the tent thing with the Neo Air and it's pretty comfortable. Uh, but yeah, now I'm going full circle. So they each have their own place. I, I think they both have their you know, advantages and disadvantages, but... Um, gone full full circle in my my shelter setup another thing that's working out pretty good is my camera setup um i tried to go you know lightweight on this trip i knew i was going to be covering some pretty good miles with quite a bit of vert um and i kind of got to the point where i'm tired of carrying around a big giant dslr i i don't or mirrorless camera whatever big big camera um it's just it's it's work it's a lot of work so I'll probably ebb and flow. You'll hear me six months from now. I'll go back and say, ah, oh, I need the mirrorless. It's the best ever. For this trip, just for your own knowledge, uh, what I've been using, this is my lightweight backpacking uh, camera setup. I've got my iPhone uh, 13 Pro, and I've got a little Ultrapod, um, and then I've got a Rode mic uh, with a dead cat that fits on it that is, I think, absolutely needed when using an iPhone uh, in any amount of wind. There's no wind right now, but if there's any amount of wind, it's terrible on an iPhone. You can go back and look at one of my videos uh, where I climbed the top of Pyramid Peak in um, the Desolation Wilderness, and there's just horrendous wind noise. The entire video is just bad, bad wind noise. It's because I didn't have any any uh, external mic or way to, to deaden the sound, so or deaden the wind. This is my lightweight setup. It's working out pretty good. Um, low light, not the greatest, but I'm not sitting around a campfire. I'm not, um, uh, you know, filming any astro night shots or anything with it. But for this kind of basic stuff on the fly, it works pretty good. Um, I can take the little ultra pod and uh, tape it to my hiking pole and then stick it in the ground. That's where you're seeing some of my lightweight shots. I think I'm going to try this system for most of the rest of the year. Um, and then I can put up a little bit more detailed video thoughts, tips and tricks, because there's a couple of things you got to do to make this system really work okay. Um, but yeah, that's what I filmed uh, filmed this little adventure on. So we got dinner ready, the fettuccine chicken alfredo. Let's try it out. That's actually really good. I've been really impressed with mountain houses the past, like, I don't know, a year or so. I tried these things when I first started, like backpacking many, many years ago. I guess like kind of ca car camping stuff. I thought you had to eat with using these, and I never liked them. But maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe my standards have gone down, or my taste have changed, or something. But I think the food's really good now. I do have one concern. I, I looked at the back of one of these packages yes yesterday, and I was like, I wonder why the what the best buy date is. The best buy date is June of 2051. Like, what science has to go into this to make it good for 40 years? It's just crazy to me. I guess that's 30 years. Anyways. Sounds good.
Well, made it to the car. I'm uh, dirty as ever. Definitely need to take a shower. Uh, good trail, had a lot of fun. The hammock worked out great. I slept really, really good. Um, let's see what else. Oh, backpack. Backpack was awesome also. Liked both of those. I'll continue to use those throughout the season. Uh, probably try to do a review later in the year. So I hope you liked the video. Till next time.